You bet. Scott Degenhart, you're 32 years old and married, and you too had an angelic experience. Would you share it with us, please? Um, my father died of cancer in 1982. Uh, the night he died, uh, I was at home in bed, been asleep for about an hour, when suddenly a spirit came by my bed, whisked over the top of me, and hovered on the left side of my body. Uh, I sat up and looked over, and it was my father. I immediately recognized it as my father. Uh, I could feel the freshness of him being out of his body of just dying. Uh, he was just absolutely bubbling over with absolutely wonderful joy and freedom yeah. and peace. But you, and you had to hitchhike from that camp or wherever you were in Florida to Georgia to go and see right. your father in an emergency situation when he was dying. Yeah, he had written me in Florida to tell me that he had found out he was dying of cancer and wanted to, had hoped that I would straighten my life out before, sometime before he died. Uh, did, did he die before you made it back? No, he died, uh, I made it back on March 25th, 1982, and he died in May, May 30th. Uh -huh. But on the uh -huh. night of his death, you were retired alone in your own bed. Right. And, was, and when you felt your father's presence on the other side of the bed, was that the moment that he died? Yeah. Uh, and you really felt bad at the pain you inflicted on your father. Yeah, I had wondered if that was part of sure. his cancer. And you must have felt, felt very, very grateful for this uh, unconditional love that your father, in his 11th hour, would reach out and want to you know, embrace you, his son. The only way to describe it is it was a, an, a privilege to, uh, to know how he's doing after he died. Yeah. Were you giddy at his funeral? Uh, when I walked in and the first time saw his body, um, I was still buzzing from the experience. And to be real honest, I almost laughed because I saw here was this, this hunk of dirt that didn't have anything to do with my father. And here were all these people sitting around crying over all this. And it seemed so silly because I knew where my father was and how he was feeling at the time. And I wanted to tell them, you don't need to cry. He's doing just fine. And you're not afraid to die either, are you? No. Uh, because of this experience? Yes. And you're, you wanted to say? I wanted to say in answer to one of the other questions that I never expected this to happen. I wasn't predisposed to it, I don't feel, because uh, I said goodbye to my father uh, when he had been into a coma for a half a day and I figured I would never see him again. If I look into the eyes of this audience, I can tell which of you believe and which of you do not. We're glad to have you with us this morning before you take off. Scott, can you briefly describe to us what your experience was and how long ago it was? Uh, it was in 1982. Um, my father uh, was dying of terminal cancer and then died. The night he died, I was at home um, asleep at the time when uh, suddenly a spirit came beside my bed. I sat up, immediately recognized it as my father. Um, and he was feeling absolutely wonderful. And he came to show me how he was feeling and, and that you know everything was fine. He had just left his physical body. And uh, we just sort of basked in each other's presence for a few minutes and talked. And, and then um, there was sort of a connection that opened up off into the distance and in that distance there was people talking and one of them said something to him and said they're calling me now and I have to go and so then he took off in that direction uh, of that connection. I laid back down uh, to sleep and then the phone rang my mother answered it and she came in the room to tell me that my father had just died it was the hospital calling to say he just died and I told her I already knew because I was just talking to him he had just been there when, and when this happened, I mean, are you, are you believing this is, this is a really happening to you? I mean, does it scare you? Does it bother you? How do you feel? The, the funny thing about the encounter with my father, as, as bizarre it is, as it is to describe to somebody, is it felt so natural at the time. The whole encounter, uh, I wasn't scared by the presence of my father. Um, the whole thing just felt so natural. The conversation, everything was so natural. Uh, but then later, as I tried to describe it to people, they were very concerned for me. You know? And they're very skeptical, I'm and, sure. Uh, yeah. But well, what did you see, actually? Was it like a, a figure? Or? My father had the appearance of even being younger. Even at, at the, he died, he was 45 when he died. He had the appearance of about 30 years old or so. And um, uh, sort of a white, misty type spirit-looking sort of being. Sort of 
I mean, you have to decide in your mind whether it was real. And, so, and, and you believe it was real? I know it was real. Good morning, Martha. Do you have a question? Once again, you guys are on your way to the Donahue Show. You'll be taping tomorrow. It can be seen here on Channel 4 uh, on Friday morning. And I'll mention your books, John, one more time. Do you have a guardian angel? And also, know your angels, because you'll be talking a lot about those two books. I'm sure we will. All right. Thanks, John. And thank you, Scott, for being with us. Appreciate you being here this morning.